Good evening, I'm Seth Meyer. This is Late Night. We hope you're doing well. And now, if you don't mind, we're gonna get to the news. Former uh, President Trump has been found guilty on all 34 charges in his criminal hush money trial and faces up to four years in prison. Well, for what it's worth, all your friends are already there, you know? <laughs> it's like what my wife tells me on our way to a dinner party. Don't worry, you'll know people. <laughs> That's right, former President Trump was found guilty last week on 34 counts of falsifying business records and faces up to four years in jail and a $5,000 fine. And I think I speak for all of us when I say, you can waive the fine. <laughs> a New York jury took less than 12 hours last week to find former President Trump guilty of committing felonies, though they did have to be told repeatedly to wait until the end of the trial. <laughs> this guy over here is lying. This guy's over there, this guy's lying! In a new interview after his conviction, former President Trump said that his hush money criminal trial was held in, quote, maybe the worst area in the whole country for him. That's right, his hometown where people know him best. <laughs> During Dr. Anthony Fauci's testimony today before the House Committee on the Coronavirus Pandemic, a woman was escorted out of the room by the Capitol Police for interrupting questioning. Even more amazing, another woman wasn't. Mexico has elected its first woman president, former Mexico City Mayor, Claudia Sheinbaum. Congratulations, screamed Hillary Clinton into a pillow. <laughs> 93-year-old billionaire Rupert Murdoch got married over the weekend to his fifth and I'm gonna say final wife? <laughs> Just because I think it's true love, you know? <laughs> what did you guys think? <laughs> Shame on you. Chuck E. Cheese has announced it will remove its animatronic bands from its most of its locations, though they still haven't figured out how to remove them from your children's nightmares. <laughs> Want a pizza? <laughs> hey, you like pizza? <laughs> the New York Times published a report yesterday on an isolated Brazilian tribe, excuse me, in the Amazon rainforest that recently got connected to the internet. Oh, I wonder how that's going. Oh, wow! <laughs> Happens fast. The largest stegosaurus fossil ever found is set to go up for auction next month and is expected to sell for up to six million of Nick Cage's dollars. <laughs> and finally, researchers in Massachusetts recently completed a study on a new type of male birth control and found that it is safe to use as long as you don't use the self-driving feature. <laughs> that was a monologue, we're back.